Alright, now the other one. Okay, you guys got that set up here. Is something that I see people ask about all the time. I'm trying to set you up experiments. Alright, because for your pre TMR existence, pretty much if somebody had an injured side, which one would you work? The injured side. And so your comparison, I, you, so you'd say, hey, it works best to work the injured side. And I would say, in comparison to what? So your whole experience is dealing with what side? The injured one. All your experience has to do with either doing nothing or doing the injured side, correct? So here's doing nothing, perhaps. And that's what a lot of doctors will say, well, you know, just, you, you just take it easier or, or whatnot. And then you've got the injured side. Well, some of you will work both sides, correct, to fix the injured one? And prior to TMR, how many of you ever worked the non-injured side? Oh, the non-injured side. The non-injured well, side. If Lori came in to you, you would, and she, it's very difficult for her to do this. What might you make her do? You're going to make her do less weight, correct? All right. So you guys decide. This is 21 pounds. It goes by 3 pounds. How much should we put it on to work her? Let's just work her like an old PT. Put on about 9 is that good? On 12? <laughs> Nine? All right, go ahead and do. And, and how many reps would you typically do? On the bad ten. side, bad side. Injured side. Ten reps. Ten reps, okay. So we're going to do ten reps. And how many sets would you do here? Two or three. Right, let's just do two for the sake of time. Obviously, they're not up here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And so what I do is sometimes your patients will come in and they'll say, why aren't you treating that side? And basically what they're saying to you is, I want to treat that side because I don't believe that this other stuff works. And so you've got to set up experiments to show them. Is I don't try to preach it to them. I try to say, you want to work the good side? Back said, let's go. All right, let's just show you. Because basically what you're saying to me is you don't quite, your body and your mind haven't connected yet to this good-sided stuff. And this is a, one of the biggest things that we'll, we'll talk about and do is that, you need to connect them. The only way to connect them is let them have experiments. Let them sense it on their own. Give them back what they want to do, which is the injured side, and see what happens. Right. Go. Better, right? <laughs> okay. Now let's do the non-injured side and see what happens. Um, so we're going to try for 10. See how many you can get here, and we'll lower the weight afterwards. But if you can get 10, great. 10's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll probably drop it. All right, go ahead. And I'll just keep dropping it. Just, to, just because we want to keep the variables the same, okay? Because she did 10 before, I just wanted to get 10. Because I want to keep the science experiment the same. setting it up for them. If you happen to have equipment, this is awesome to do on like your Cybex machine, your fitness equipment. Put them on whatever the heck you want. Let them do the injured side, see what happens afterwards. Let them do both sides, see what happens to the injured side afterwards. Let them do the good side and let's see what the injured does afterwards. Beautiful representative. And do it until they go, okay now I get it. I don't want to do my injured side anymore. Then they're ready to move on and forward. It doesn't mean it's the first thing you do because we always start with the FAT5 when we work backwards. How'd that work? 